One question I get asked about a lot in Summon Dragons 2 is what packs are worth it to buy. We don't like to waste time here, so we're going to skip these active packs and get straight into the good stuff at the store. A general rule you might want to follow is that everything you buy, you shouldn't be able to get as free to play. So even though these advanced summoning crystals and all of the epic SP summoning crystals look like a good purchase, it's probably not where your money is best spent. Event packs can be a really good choice because if you place high enough in an event, you can get a special border. Most events have insane rewards for reaching the top 5, but if you choose to go this route, you're going to want to make sure you hit that top rank, so make it count. The only way I could recommend getting an ethereal summon pack is if you really wanted Argus as one of your main dragons. You could probably get about 30 of these summons weekly anyways, but it's nice to be able to double that output. The arcane packet might be worth it if you have enough divine dragon tokens, but I wouldn't spend cash on it. Special summon packs are going to be another no-go because you could get a ton of these summons for way less than $10. The special packs are usually hit or miss, but mostly miss. The Ascendant packs are interesting because they give you back one, two, and then four dollars respectively, but it's really not worth it. Throughout all the value packs, the one that stands out to me the most is this $15 one that has the artifact vault slot key. These can be pretty rough to get, and they are pretty expensive for free to play, so $15 isn't that bad. But let's face it, the privilege cards are just a quality of life change. If you could get these, it's just going to make the game more fun for you to log in every single day. Although clearly the one with the most value is this lifetime pass. Compared to some of the other packs, $50 isn't that much, and then getting a large artifact is a really nice bonus. Plus this border is sick. The hatching pass is worth it if you're really trying to speedrun that hatching event. But you really don't have to worry about it, it's sort of a long grind anyways. The yearly card's good, anything that's going to give you a red large artifact is nice, and then plus more borders is adding to our collection. And the monthly card gives you some stuff to spend right off the bat and extra daily rewards just to make the game a little bit more interesting. For all three of the passes, I would probably go for the glory pass because this is going to get you a lot more of these badges of glory, which is where the best items in the game come from. The growth fund isn't one of the best packs, but growth fund number two is definitely worth it. Dragonfall Valley Horde sounds good, especially in the early game whenever you're running low on resources to upgrade your dragons, but I promise you don't need this. The Fortune Streak is also very hit or miss. You can see that I've purchased one of them myself because one of them is $25 and it comes with a red halidome piece. Red halidome pieces are the rarest and most exclusive pieces of gear in the game, so any way you could get your hands on them, you're going to want to get after it. Divine Dragon coupons are always worth it because essentially you're just trading your real currency for Summon Dragons 2 currency. And diamonds are a big no-no. This is like the least value you could get. You get a ton of diamonds in the game just for playing it. As for these one-time limited packs, they very rarely are worth it, but every now and then you'll find a gem that you might want to take advantage of. Then of course buying anything is going to get you your first top-up pack, so it's kind of like the gift that just keeps on giving. And that's going to do it for the packs that I think are worth it to buy in Summon Dragons 2. If there's a different pack that you think is worth it, make sure you let me know why in a comment. Thanks so much for watching, if you like this video feel free to subscribe, but other than that y'all, that's going to do it for me today, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.